Hey guys, what's up? This is Brett. Welcome to this week's episode of Friday on the Turntable. Today I'm featuring slash reviewing the new Morrissey album, World Peace is None of Your Business. The 10th studio album from Morrissey. This one is out on Harvest Records and it's his first studio album since 2009's Years of Refusal. Uh, this one was produced by Joe Ciccarilli who has worked with a ton and ton of artists all the way back to the 70s from Journey to Frank Zappa, White Stripes, Hole, Counting Crows, Lannis Morissette, etc. and add Morrissey to that mix. Have to start this out right away. One of the first time I listened to this there was one song that just immediately jumped out and um, I've been just addicted to that song because I think it's in my opinion it's become part of Morrissey's finest work and that is the track Staircase at the University which uh, for those of you familiar with the track Mute Witness from Morrissey's 1991 album Kill Uncle this feels like the daughter of the girl in Mute Witness uh, it's the story of a, a girl who's under uh, immense pressure to succeed in college from her parents from her boyfriend and can't take it and throws herself down a flight of stairs and uh, it, you know, in, in typical Mori Morrissey genius, it has a, you know, you have this such dark subject matter, but the music is really uplifting, it's melodic, and uh, in between each verse chorus block, there's this musical interlude that comes in that just sends chills down my body. The melody of that instrumental is just so perfect. At the end, there's this frantic, shredding, flamenco style Spanish guitar solo at the very end along with some hand claps and it is just outstanding. It's my favorite song from the album and uh, it's it, it's become one of my favorite Morrissey tracks over this past, uh, past week and a half or so since I've gotten the album. Another track that stands out to me is Mount Joy which is an acoustic song really reminiscent of his of the, the more gentle acoustic side of some of the moments on uh, his album Vox Hall and I. And uh, I wrote down a few lyrical passages from Mount Joy because I think they were definitely worthy of quotation. One of them was, we never say aloud the things that we say in our prayers because no one cares. The other line from that song is, we all lose, rich or poor, typical Morrissey. Uh, his voice throughout the album, his wit, his lyrical phrasing are exquisite. Morrissey still has it. Uh, this is definitely a gem in his catalog already. I've been really, I'm gonna use the word addicted again to this album. I have been playing it nonstop, the turntable in the car. Um, so I have the vinyl version here. It's a two record set uh, on Harvest, as I said, got the gatefold showing the whole band there. Uh, back cover. Each record comes with a lyrics sheet um, and the lyrics to each song on each side so you can follow along. I'll show you the record here, uh, that Harvest label, if those of you guys remember, the Harvest label released a lot of the Pink Floyd stuff. Um, it also comes with six bonus tracks. Now, if you buy the vinyl edition, it comes with a download code, which is great. Um, mine wasn't in there so I had to write the company their customer service was really good and they sent me a code and uh, not only does it come with the album on the download but it comes with six bonus tracks so b-sides extra tracks or whatever you want to call them which are also on the deluxe CD version uh, but I think those six extra tracks are definitely essential so if you're looking uh, deciding what to get either go with the deluxe CD or go with the vinyl version uh, there's a couple tracks that are standouts on those six bonus. One of them is uh, Drag the River, the other is Art Hounds. So be sure to get all six of those. Um, and as far as value goes, I know I've featured and talked about cost on records before. Uh, some albums will be double, they'll be you know 25 plus, they won't come with a download. Like I said, two records on this one, two inserts, the deluxe download, and I think at the store with a discount, I think I got this for right around $20. So with, uh, Harvest, good job on that one, and uh, and Morrissey. Uh, Morrissey's band, just to mention a couple members, long-term Boz Boar, still with him. He started with Morrissey back on the Kill Uncle Tour in 1991, and also this sees the um, continuation of his uh, newer collaborator, Jesse Tobias, who's been with, us, uh, been with Morrissey since Ringleader of the Tormentors from 2006. A uh, little trivia on Jesse Tobias, if you didn't know, back in the early 90s after the departure of John Frusciante from the Red Hot Chili Peppers and his replacement, Arik Marshall, Jesse Tobias was that guitar player that they hired for about a week 
and then let him go and then hired Dave Navarro. So he was in the Red Hot Chili Peppers for that. Prior to that, he was in a band, uh, LA band called Mother Tongue. Um, uh, so highly recommend this album. Uh, grab it. I, I, I hope you guys enjoy it. I've been really, as I said, uh, really all about this album for the last uh, last couple of weeks. I'm going to have a link down below to my blog where you can, uh, you can purchase it in whatever edition you choose. Uh, before I close, I just wanted to send a shout out uh, to a friend, fellow vinyl community member, uh, fellow Morrissey aficionado, uh, Rob Paniques. Rob, um, just wanted to send my best wishes out. I know you just uh, lost your father. So um, just wanted to send a little shout out to you here and what appropriate of a place than a Morrissey feature. So Rob, hope you're doing all right. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the links below and I will talk to you guys soon.